Okay, um, my name's Alison Waller and I'm just about to go through my um, information on my Turanga YY piece of artwork. I'd like to start with my Pepeha first because um, that sort of grounds me where I am. Um, so I've got a unique Pepeha because I'm English, you can tell from my accent. Ko Snowden Tokamonga, Ko Irish Sea Tokamoana, Ko Avon Tokaawa, Ko Air New Zealand Tokawaka, Ko Nati Pakia Toko Iwi, Ko Kura Kyuta Tokamarai, Ko Alasamwala Tokawinoa. So I just talk you through a little bit more. Um, Snowden's my mountain because that's where I spent most of my holidays and it's the uh, mountain behind my university. The Irish Sea is my Moana, and that's where I first dipped my toes into the ocean. And then the Avon is the name of a river. It's not just one river in England, it's actually uh, different rivers, but actually it's where I did my teaching degree, it's where I did my master's, and there's a river Avon that uh, flows through Christchurch where my husband and I got married. Uh, Air New Zealand brought me here from North Carolina where I was living at the time, um, less my luggage unfortunately. Uh, Nati Pakia, obviously, somebody from England who's a settler to work in New Zealand, that's me. And then Kurakuta, I was told by Matua Honey Green to say that Kurakuta is my marae because it's a meeting house that's special to me and I feel that I belong there because it's part of the college where I teach. And then that's me. So that's my pepiha outside the college where I teach. So I'm going to escape that and go to um, my artwork preparation. So I live in Ohopi Beach, which is absolutely wonderful. And I like to go and take photos. So this is a montage of the photos. And that's what sprung to mind. That's what I wanted to use partly. Um, the photo that I chose that I wanted to put my pepiha onto is that particular one so you've got whale island and you've got the heads and the sun was just setting because it was in the middle of winter even though it's more like an english summer um first of all i had to try and get my puppy heart to flip around so it read backwards so i had to look that up on uh, google to google and managed to get that to do in word and then i decided that i wanted the puppy heart onto my picture uh, unfortunately, it didn't work. So um, I decided I was going to look at some stencils because I think of myself as an English rose and uh, Turanga YY to me is the place where I stand. So my feet are where I stand. So that's what I was thinking of doing. So first thing I wanted to do was to actually apply the picture, the photo onto the board that I bought from Bunnings and um, tried to use the various different solvents to do that. Unfortunately, all I ended up with was a muddy mess, a little bit of scribbled muddy mess. I tried with the photo, and the left-hand side is what you can see with the photo. I then tried with my pepiha, and unfortunately, all you can see again is a muddy mess. I tried scribbling it on there with the brush and totally munted one of my brushes. Nothing worked. That's all that you were left with. A series of dots that you can't really see and that is way too faint so I went to the old traditional of um, put the pencil on the back of the thing and then right over the top of it and doing it late at night it was very difficult to see where you'd actually been so I had to put torch light on it do that so I went over the um, pencil that had been etched onto there in reverse and then put Sharpie onto it. Then I put one of my stencils on and then I built up the stencil and then I decided that I wanted um, a kaitiaki on there. I used to have a ponamu um, of the fisherman's hook which guards travellers. That's me. And so I put that on in blue and then went over that with some opal and then on the top of that i also had a little bit of um, greeny glittery stuff then i decided that my stencils of my english rose would go on there and that's what my puppy hair looked like so my turanga yy that's where i stand that's where i belong then going back to me and my where I now belong, the photos of me and the Hopi Beach. Um, so I tried that. That was okay. 
I like the, I stood in two worlds um, with my English side and my Māori adopted side now. Um, then I tried a different one using the same stencil, so I built that up. I came just on um, photocopies and then that's what they look like when I mounted them into my workbooks. So I then turned my attention back to the board that my husband had not cut and decided I'd try and play with the painting on the top. The, the original transfer that I tried to do didn't work, so I decided I'd have a go at the, the other one. So I painted it up and um, you can see that on the, the right hand side one, where the sunset was going, I painted that into silver. And um, then I decided I was going to put on um, the, the sand and that worked really well in the clouds. I'm quite a glittery person, big, bold and bright. And then the sunset was the English rose and the Kofi Fi pointing towards my Turanga Waiwai, where I stand. So that's the explanation of uh, my piece. That's on the left hand side, the final version. And uh, on the right hand side, you can see in comparison where the original photo and the original um, Pepihara in reverse are. Thank you very much for listening. Much appreciated.